everyone, it's Annie Pennington, and I just got an extra special delivery to my shop from Potter USA. But before I break into it, I thought I would show you what it's like to receive something that ships freight, whether it's tools or anything else. You can take a little sneak peek of it back there. I'm really excited. It's been hard to wait this long, so let's do it. When an order is shipped freight, you will receive a bill of lading, which basically just means that the pallet is loaded, it's ready to go, um, and it's the identifying number of your skid, which is this whole assembly right here. This was delivered by Old Dominion. I'm not sure if that's who Potter USA always uses, but they should because they were fantastic. Basically, the whole process was I received the, the notification, the bill of lading, then they gave me a call to set up a time to have it delivered. Because it is on a semi, you do need to be somewhere where a semi can access it. Most residential homes probably can. Um, I have a commercial storefront, so that was an easy part on my end. I live in Wisconsin, and it took about four days, four to five days, for this to arrive. This is quite heavy. The total weight was around 175. So definitely something you would want some assistance with. Of course, I'm doing it by myself today, but do as I say, not as I do. The skid was a little too small for them to use their um, pallet jack. So the man who delivered it was just absolutely wonderful. He got it out of the truck, put it on a dolly, um, and then wheeled it to the shop. I don't know if that's standard or if they're supposed to do that, but he wheeled it right in, which is good because I'd been having some hand issues and my boyfriend who was going to help me has had both shoulders operated on. So we're pretty happy not to have had to lift it. But you can see here, um, there's some feet of the press and then there's a little sneak peek of the shear. And it's wrapped in like a ton of, of what looks like cling wrap. So you can see it's really, it is not going anywhere. Made the trip without any major issues at all. At least I haven't opened it yet, but um, the skid is probably about, I'd say maybe two and a half by two and a half feet square. Um, and they just leave the skid for you. They just, they leave the pallet and you can do what you want with it. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You do need to make sure that you do answer your phone when a strange number calls. Um, the delivery number for my shop was from a town maybe an hour or so away. So I recognize the, the area code, but you might not. Just go ahead and answer it if you know you're expecting a delivery like this because you don't want to miss it. And here's the unwrapped delivery. I'm super excited. I don't know if you can see, but these two screws here and here, they are securing the shear onto the pallet. So that's just some added security. The press is heavy enough, it's not screwed in. So the standard press, 20 ton, and it comes with the jack assembled completely. It is ready for use. And that's it. Everything's unpacked, it's ready to go. I just need to unscrew the shear from the pallet, get it set up on my workbench, and I'm good to go. So I wanted to give you a heads up about what will be coming soon. Over the next few months, I'm going to be putting together a few, well, more than a few probably, videos, um, extremely detailed how-to videos using the shear and the press. Basically everything that you need to know and what to expect when you get these tools. To make sure that you don't miss out on the videos, please subscribe to my channel and then click that little bell icon that shows up. That way you'll receive notifications of when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and it's time for me to go get to work.